What screams I'm uneducated? Talking about every topic that comes up in conversation as if you know lots about it. Then getting pissed off when someone knows more and corrects you. This is my mill anyway. The inappropriate use of large words. My brother-in-law dated this woman a few years ago who said per se after practically every sentence she uttered. She usually said it twice, per se per se. When they get their facts from Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, Reddit for that matter. I take what I learn here with a grain of salt until I actually check into it. When someone is in a debate with another person about a certain subject, and all they have are insults and personal attacks instead of making actual arguments backed up with proven facts from reputable sources. They say they went to the school of hard knocks on their social media, usually followed by the university of life. Whenever anyone says I know everything about that, and it's a pretty deep and important subject, there isn't a lawyer in the world who would ever say, I know everything about the law. Dot. There isn't a doctor in the world who would say, I know everything about medicine. Dot. There isn't a physicist anywhere in the world who would say, I know everything about the workings of the universe. Dot. When you learn extensively on any subject, you become more and more aware of how much you don't know. The best doctor I've ever had, after learning about my medical history, said that she needed to research one of the issues I had because she was unsure of what medication to give me based on prior diagnosis. Moving away from that doctor was honestly the worst part about moving for me. Multi-level marketing. Looking at you dumbass who brags about making money from MLM while wearing a fast food hat. I took my sister-in-law's boyfriend to a small community theater to see my friends play. This was the type of theater where if you're in the first few rows, we were, you are mere feet from the performers. The boyfriend didn't understand what a play was or how to act during a performance. He thought he could interact with the dialogue and action being carried out by the actors. Like it was was audience participation improv or something. We kept telling him that all he needed to do was chill and watch, like TV. He couldn't grasp that the performers needed to deliver their lines uninterrupted. Oh my god that's real bad. He never had to do a play in school or something? Never watched people be at a play at television? Like how can you not know that? Talking on speakerphone in the break room. Not knowing that Austria and Australia are different countries. Australia is the one with the kangaroos. Austria is the one with Vienna sausages. When I was maybe seven, I went to Austria and my mom bought me a shirt with kangaroos on it and speech bubbles with them saying something like we're in the wrong place but in German. Accusing people of being over-educated is a personal attack. It just makes me think that the person doing it 1. Doesn't understand the value of education and 2. Didn't when they were in school either. Unfortunately a lot of people are formally educated but don't seem to have taken away enough from it to act educated in daily life. One sign that education has not taken root is a lack of critical thinking skills and unawareness that cognitive biases may apply to you just as much as the other guy. Indicators on Reddit of such 1. People who fiercely launch into a strong opinion based upon a headline of a post without actually reading the story behind it or asking any questions about it. 2. People who are 100 percenters. Something or someone or some cause is 100 percent good or 100 percent bad. No nuances. No flaws possibly in your own prejudices. No subtlety in arguments. No admission that somebody who opposes you might have a good point. If. As an adult, you yell at people for using big words. Some dude at work was talking at me about politics and I used the word disenfranchise. Freaked out, called me a fucking idiot because he didn't know what that word meant and he told me not to use big words with him anymore. I just stared at him, said no, then left. All my life, if a person uses a word I don't know, I ask what it means. Sheer lack of interest in knowledge slash education and thus knowledge itself. Bragging about not reading. Ha 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 100% I haven't read a book since high school. Truck balls. They're called truck nuts son. Get educated. Slash s. For real though they are called truck nuts. I've seen and still see more than my fair share in my hometown. I've done my research. I know my body and 97. 2 is a fever for me. Well in metric, you would be dead. 
Thinking your social media bubble represents most of America and it applies to the entire world. We don't all live in the USA. The inability to see the other side of the argument. I find that people without a lot of education typically have very narrow viewpoints and seemingly cannot understand a point unless it totally agrees with their personal position or opinion. That said, I have met plenty of people with educations who have this problem too, but, they can usually at least see that there might be logical reasons for differing opinions. Greater than it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Probably not Aristotle. When even autocorrect can't fix your shit because autocorrect memorized your stupid typos. Anti-vax homeschooling parent who graduated from the school of hard knocks, but who is a boss BC they sell crappy leggings and essential oils. Not being able to read your question. Using it's just a theory to dismiss science. Flat earthers. Those pants with juicy on the butt. Haha <laughs> what year is it, 2005? They believe everything they see on Facebook is absolute fact. Listening to Drive Oz. I don't reckon I need no fancy book learning. They protest, complain, or post about something they literally know nothing about, all the while acting like an expert. This product will cleanse all the toxins from my body. Dot. Having a bunch of kids because you can't figure out birth control. Or having a bunch of kids because you can't figure out what to do with your life and you're just supposed to have kids. Something something anti-vax. People who don't use their signal lights. When I was young I thought New York City was in Japan. People who don't acknowledge mental illness. The username the big stupid man, I hate that guy. People who react to not getting their way by immediately getting aggressive slash yelling slash causing a scene. Having school of life listed as education on your Facebook profile. Having the assumption that everyone has the same issues as you and that they can be fixed the same way. Examples, racism doesn't exist because I've personally never experienced it. Dot. I can afford to pay my bills with no issues. So you should just get a job. If you can't get a job you aren't trying hard enough. Dot. If I can save up for this expensive thing that is a basic human need, so can you. Dot. I've never experienced widespread pain, so your chronic illness must be fake. Just do some yoga, that works for me. Dot. I've never experienced sexism, even as a woman, so it's just a lie people tell to get sympathy. Dot. I've never been depressed, so mental illnesses are all fake. Dot. Etc. 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 Constantly bitching about why the millennial generation isn't doing things the way older generations did. That and trying to argue with people in graduate school pursuing earth science degrees about how climate change is made up. Who cares who gives a fuck why does it matter so much to you? I can't stand a kid who thinks he's smart. And hashtag X200B, in other words you don't like someone younger showing you up and making you feel stupid. Bad grammar shows a lack of education. It's a simple thing to grasp, emo. They are an independent consultant in direct sales. A bunch of people on Reddit talking about how much smarter they are than everyone else. Love the screaming. Comma random words in caps responses on some of these posts. Clearly you're a very calm and rational person. Library. Trusting everything the news tells them. As I'm only 17 I do not have much of these kind of of experiences but one that really screams in not educated or I don't care about education is getting annoyed at someone for asking the teacher a question. Had some guy get mad at me once cause I asked a question and he said how I'm wasting time. If he had shut up, the teacher would have answered my question much faster. People who think men can't be raped. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you read their question? People who try to make teachers lives miserable just because. Bragging about not voting and not being political. Leaving your trash out on the ground or on the table. Belittling careers that require higher education. Assuming people who attended higher careers are elitist snobs, 
and then compensating by talking down to them. My wife met her friend's dad, who was a trucker who never made it past high school. When he asked her what she did, she said she was studying to get a degree in dietetic sciences. He scoffed and basically said, so, what? You're gonna tell me to eat less sugar and more vegetables? I don't need a degree for that. Dot. Like, what the hell dude? You just met this person, who is your son's friend, and you just shit on her like that? Edit, removed a letter. Being anti-vax or anti-chemicals. Believing in zodiac signs. I don't believe in them because I'm an Aries, and we don't believe in that nonsense. Saying that someone speaks Mexican instead of Spanish. Edit, typo. Anti-vax. Not reading books. Anti-vaccine position. Being skeptical, but not having critical thinking like anti-vaccine. I wouldn't say not reading books I'd uneducated, but being proud that you don't read books does. Any article of clothing with a confederate flag. Especially in northern states that fought for the union. Your entire family has lived in the north for generations, and our state actively sent troops to fight against the confederacy. You've never even seen the south before. Why do you have a confederate flag flying from your truck bed? It's my heritage. Bragging about testing out of science classes in high school and still claims climate change is a hoax but can't explain why except that it's fake news. Usually explaining everything with religion. My car broke down, because God. My pews caught on fire, because God. Rockets work, because God. Vaccines are harmful, because God. Etc etc ad nauseum. Owning the rebel slash confederate flag and flying it proudly. Bonus points if you're from a state that was never a part of the confederacy. They constantly rant and rave about how much college is a waste of money just meant to teach you liberal propaganda and bullshit. Yes, many degrees are useless in the real world but a mass majority of college students study something to set up a career that doesn't require tedious manual labor no one wants to do. Truck nuts. Believing the world is out to get you. Should of, would of, gov. Saying windmills cause cancer amongst other things. Equating a lack of physical fitness with being intelligent, and vice versa. For example, people who call themselves nerds and think physically fit people are stupid. People who don't know history apart from the American side of wars. Spending all your time on Reddit. I want this man arrested. Usage of the word libtard. On its own, I think this reads like an asshole question. That said, I actually experienced real dumbass, uneducated commentary many times over the past two decades of living in and visiting the US. I'm from the Netherlands. No, it's not in the Middle East. Yes. We do have electricity and running water. It is fucking terrifying to see how uninformed many Americans are, and the fact that they flat out do not seem to care at all about how disconnected they are from the rest of the world. Edit, grammar stuff. Backslash greater than Netherlands. That's the place in Minecraft with all the fire and pigmen, right? You must be super hardcore to live there. Not believing in evolution. If you watch Jake Paul. I seen. Littering. The moon landings are fake and vaccines kill. I'm anti-vax. Thinking that nuking a hurricane is a good idea. Being an Instagram influencer. Not understanding when someone says no to sex. Your versus your, like seriously, you're an idiot if your grammar is so bad that you can't even tell the difference between them. When people make grammar and spelling mistakes that should be apparent to anyone who has read, well, anything. One of my best friends can't use to, to, and to correctly to save his life and can't even begin to understand the concept of could have been an incorrect attempt at could have. I don't understand how people that make these mistakes read anything if they've never once come across the correct usage and thought oh, that's how that works.